Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. Today I have for you a book that's called Sloppy Joe. And if you look closely, I got that one at my library. So everybody needs a library card and everybody should go to the library and check out books. But today I've got Sloppy Joe. It was written by Dave Keen and it was illustrated by Denise Brunkus. Let's find out what Joe gets into. Mom says, I'm the first kid in history to take a school picture with gum stuck in his hair. You can barely notice. My room looks a little bit messy, but I know exactly where everything is. Everything except my bearded dragon, a few of his crickets, and a grilled cheese sandwich I lost last summer. When you're sloppy, people are always telling you what to do. Stand up straight, clean out your nose, comb your hair, tie your shoes, pull up your pants. I'd rather be raised by alligators. I've always been good at being sloppy. I slurp, spill, slouch, talk with my mouth full, and put my elbows on the table without even trying. Dad says I'm a natural. So do Grammy and Big Grandpa. They spread newspapers all around me when we eat dinner at their house. How did they know a meatball could roll out that far? But I'm not just good at being sloppy. I can catch more frogs than any kid on my street. Just ask my mom. I know how to help my dad in the yard, and I'm really good at baseball because I practice, practice, practice. But sometimes I wish I wasn't so sloppy, like when my friend's mom doesn't let me come in the house. Just to wait here. I'll send Jimmy out, she says. But I wiped my feet. When being sloppy gets me in really big trouble, I just try out my newest jokes. What kind of a pet does the sun have? A hot dog. Hey, Mom, what did the taco say to the burrito? Where have you been? Sometimes, even my best jokes don't work. So, I decide something has to change. That's when I make up my mind not to be sloppy anymore. Starting tomorrow, I'll be Neat Joe. The next day, I give the dog a shower, I clean my room, and I find that lost grilled cheese sandwich. It's so hard, I almost break my teeth. I set the table for dinner. I even find one of my lost crickets. This being neat stuff isn't as hard as I thought it would be, but nobody cares at all about my neatness because... Everyone in my family has the flu. I tell them not to panic. This is a job for Neat Joe. So I bring cold socks for their foreheads. I cover everything with germ spray. I even make soup. I try to cheer them up, but my jokes only make them groan louder. Hey guys, what kind of dog wins every contest? A wiener dog. Get it? Wiener dog. What's wrong with you people? By the time Grammy gets there, I have everything under control. So, what do you think of the new Neat Joe, I ask my family. He reminds me of the old sloppy Joe, Dad says. And he's a very special kid, Mom says. The end. And that was Sloppy Joe. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye, boys and girls.